I need to go refuel my excavator. I got it out on a job. Uh, we're clearing out some woods and um, it just needs a little fuel. So um, about a month ago or two months ago, I put a transfer, a diesel transfer tank in the back of my truck and with an easy right pump. And so I thought I'd make a little video on how it is to refuel uh, using those. So here's the setup I got. Uh, I have a Ford F-350 <clears throat> with a long bed. And um, I put this tank in. It's, uh, I think it's about a 40 gallon tank. Uh, it's a uh, DZ. And what I liked about it is that it's very narrow. It's only like nine inches uh, this dimension. <clears throat> and um, it's pretty tall and it's pretty wide. So it doesn't really take up much uh, space in the in the grand scheme of the length of the bed, I still have a lot of room to haul stuff, have room for my toolbox. And uh, so yeah, I like the shape of this one much better than the other one. Yeah, this is a 40 gallon, uh, it's a 40 gallon tank. And um, I've got this fill right 10 gallon uh, with the hand crank. And uh, it's been doing okay. I like it. it. It's pretty good for for fueling up such a small machine like this little excavator. It works fine. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it <clears throat> is that it tends to spill a little diesel right here at the base. I think what happens is uh, there must be some thermal expansion in the uh, tank and it forces it through the holes and it comes out right here and spills down here and probably in the bed of my truck too. Anyway, let's go ahead and um, fill this thing up. can hear the fuel uh, flowing now. It takes a few cranks to get it going. It's kind of awkward, the position I'm in well, with the uh, toolbox right here. I have to be careful not to hit my knuckles. I think it's supposed to be, uh, the literature said, one gallon per 10 cranks is the rate. This is the model 112. This thing doesn't have any kind of automatic shut off anything so you have to watch uh, that you don't spill fuel all over everything uh, and I just kind of go by sound I can hear the the sound of the fuel going in and as the pitch comes up I know it's almost full And uh, so what I've learned to do also is make sure I get all of the fuel out of the uh, hose and also I crank it uh, backwards a few times and that's supposed to uh, make sure that there's no uh, fuel left in the hose.
All right, that's it. Not very exciting, but gives you an idea how it is to use one of those little hand pumps. And I just put this little uh, carabiner on here just to keep the handle from turning. So that's the Model 112. I also wanted to point out that this little um, swivel nozzle on the end was a, an option. I bought that on Amazon. And also the Phil Wright fuel filter was also optional. It didn't come with the pump. But I think it's uh, well worth getting both of those items for your system. It makes uh, refueling and storing the hose so much easier when you have that swivel, swivel nozzle. And also, uh, I certainly don't want to get any trash in my equipment. So the uh, fuel filter is well worth it too. I'll show you the project I'm working on. I guess I should make a video on this too. Sometimes I just get started on projects. I don't have my camera with me and I uh, forget to make videos, but this is all the stuff I've already removed. And you can see how this is, this section is all cleared out of underbrush. And this is kind of what it looked like before full of rhododendron and holly trees so I'm just clearing this out all right guys that's it I just wanted to give you a little video of the uh, DZ uh, diesel transfer tank and the easy right uh, hand crank fuel pump working pretty good for me like I said I just got a couple of small machines and uh, I don't refuel every day so uh, just for once in a while that little hand crank works fine and 40 gallons is plenty enough to refuel quite a few times so this system seems to be working for me all right hope you enjoyed the video hey if you like the video give me a thumbs up and I'll leave a comment if you have any questions or comments on the video I appreciate hearing from you guys all right, I'll see you next time.